Good morning, children. Yesterday we had started with our play, the proposal. We had completed till page number one fifty three. Let's continue, and uh, the assignments also we shall complete today itself. Okay, so let's open our books. It's page number one fifty three, which we had completed. But have a look at the last para of page number one fifty three. The speaker Natalia. See the first line. The word is contradiction. She, I mean Natalia, tells Lomo that he is contradicting whatever she tries to talk about. It started with the claim over the oxen meadows, and now they are having a discussion over their dogs. That whose dog is of the best breed? They are having an argument over it. Okay. see this paragraph the same paragraph the third line when she says i don't like people who don't say what they mean according to her why was lomo not admitting that his dog was not as good as which she had okay so guess is better or squeezer is better the argument is all about it okay now let's continue from page number 154 okay lomo i see natalia stepanova that you consider me either a blind or a fool you must realize that squeezer natalia's dog is overshot overshot the meaning i already explained you yesterday natalia it's not true he is it's not true why shout madam while she was forcefully keeping her thoughts in front of lomo probably her voice raised and for that lomo says to speak in a lower volume then natalia says why talk rot rot means why do you talk rubbish something which is not true why are you claiming all the false things it's awful it's time your guess was shot and you compare him with squeezer excuse me i cannot continue this discussion my heart is palpitating once again see if you remember earlier also the same thing had happened but then mr chubukov went outside because natalia had started crying and wailing he was brought in after coming in once again they are having a fight over the dogs i have noticed that those hunters argue most who know least according to her according to natalia lomo was not at all a good hunter even he was just making false claims since when he had come there madam please be silent my heart is going to pieces shut up i shan't shut up until you acknowledge that squeeza is 100 times better than your guess a hundred times worse be hand to your squeezer his head his eyes his shoulder and now they are discussing over the physical appearance of the dog there's no need to hang your silly guess he is half dead already according to natalia guess was an old dog so old that any moment he may go away leave away lomo shut up my heart is bursting she says i shall not shut up what is the matter now chubuko enters papa tell us truly which is the better dog our squeezer or his guess lomo stepan stepanovich i implore you implore again is sincere request i request you to tell me just one thing is your squeezer overshot or not just yes or no chubukov says and suppose he is what does it matter he is the best dog in the district for all that and so on so father also supporting natalia which was something very obvious according to him also their dog was the best and lomov's was not that of a good quality lomov but isn't my guess better really now chubukov don't excite yourself my precious one 
once again he is speaking in that loving tone because he knows very well that he was their prospective son in law allow me your guest certainly has his good points he is pure bred he is firm on his feet he has well sprung ribs and all that but my dear man if you want to know the truth that dog has two defects two defects means he's talking about low moves pet and he says your dog is an old one and he is shot in the muzzle muzzle is the front protruding part of the dogs okay so his muzzle is too short excuse me my heart let's take the facts you will remember that on the merunsinski hunt my guest ran neck to neck with the count's dog now who's a count count is basically a title of nobility in those times uh, the household companion of an emperor was considered to be a count and he was equally respectable in the society because he was someone who was very close to the emperor so here lomov is claiming that his dog his own dog ran as fast as the count's dog ran while your squeezer was left a whole burst behind here burst is v e r s t and that is basically a unit of distance okay suppose we say kilometers suppose we talk about the distance which his dog had covered but their dog was unable to keep to its pace chubuko he got left behind because the count's whipper count's whipper whipper is uh, the breed of the dog which count had he in hit him with his whip he was given a bad beating because of which he was able to means he was left behind lomo and with good reason so he was like really given a good one the dogs are running after a fox when squeezer goes and starts worrying a sheep so both equally are making fun of one another's dogs chubuko it's not true my dear fellow i am very liable to lose my temper and so on just because of that let's stop arguing you started because everybody is always jealous of everybody else's dogs it's quite natural yes we are all like that you too sir are not to be blamed you are blameless you no sooner begin with this that and the other and all that i remember everything so kindly stop with all the arguments and all the discussions lomov says i remember too if you remember something about me i also know about you chubuko teasing him i remember too what do you remember now once again the argument getting heated one lomov my heart my foot has gone to sleep i can't once again those palpitations that excitement and because of that he is unable to keep a control over himself natalia my heart what sort of a hunter you are you ought to go and lie on the kitchen oven and catch blank beetles and go not go after foxes so she is basically here making fun of lomo that with this physical condition that so quick you start having those palpitations how can you claim yourself to be a hunter so here she is making fun of him that you are one such hunter who would go to the kitchen oven and there you would start catching black beetles and then you claim that you are a hunter okay so this is basically a sarcastic comment which she makes teasing mocking at lomo chubuko yes really what sort of a hunter you are anyway you ought to sit at home with your palpitations and not not go tracking animals you could go hunting but you only go to argue with people and interfere with their dogs 
and so on. So you can do nothing as in this way. Let's change the subject in case I lose my temper now. You are not a hunter at all anyway. So the final statement which Chubukov makes that you are making another false claim because with this physical condition you should sit at home. Then Lomov, how would he accept that bitter remark which is being spoken about him? Lomov says, and are you a hunter? If you say I'm not an hunter, so you are also not that one? You only go hunting to get in with the count. To get in with someone here is a phrase. Okay? And to get in with someone is basically being friendly to someone in order to gain advantage of the situation. Okay? Matlab se kisi se dosti karna. So Lomov says that you also go for hunting because you need favors from the count. And to intrigue. Intrigue means get benefit and then later on cheat someone. Oh my heart, you are an intriguer. Intriguer means a person who cheats someone else. Chubuko, what? I'm an intriguer. Shut up. Intriguer. Boy. Puff. So now once again that abusive tone has started. Old rat. Jesuit. Jesuit once again means a cheat. Okay. Shut up or I'll shoot you like a partridge, you fool. Everybody knows that. Oh my heart, your late wife used to beat you. Now they are speaking all, I mean some criticism type of comments against one another. Your late wife used to beat you. My feet, my temples, all sparks. I fall, I fall. He's losing control over his body now. Temples here refers to that forehead part. And you are under the slipper of your housekeeper. Chubukov says, and you are also under the control of your housekeeper. There, there, there. My heart's going to burst. My shoulders come off. Where is my shoulder? I die. His body getting numb now, unconscious now. And he falls into an armchair and he calls for a doctor. So what exactly he is undergoing, he only knows. But by this time, Chubukov and Natalia are very busy blaming him, abusing him. Chubukov says, boy, milk sop, fool, I'm sick, sick. And he is drinking water. Milk sop is a person who um, in um, layman's language uh, means a coward, okay? Um, a elderly man who drinks milk. So like it is considered to be in a negative sense. Although drinking milk is good for health, but here milk soft is an abusive word which is used for the cowards. Natalia. What sort of hunter are you? You can't even sit on a horse. Papa, what's the matter with him? Papa, look, Papa. And with this, she screams because she realizes that Ivan Veselvich was no more. He was dead. Chubukov, I am sick. I can't breathe air by the time he also is not feeling well. Natalia, he is dead. And she pulls Lomov's sleeve. Ivan Veselvich, Ivan Veselvich, she's calling for him. What have you done to me? He's dead. And she also falls into an armchair and she too is loudly calling a doctor, doctor. So the situation is all of confusion. Oh, what is that? What's the matter? Natalia once again wailing loud. He's dead, he's dead. Who is dead? And by this time, he has a look at the Lomo. So he is, my word, what a, a doctor, and he lifts a tumbler and spills it over Lomov's mouth. Not, not spilling, it's basically he is expecting him to drink it. No, he doesn't drink, it means he's dead, and all that. I'm the most unhappy of men, most unhappy of men because he has lost a great opportunity. He has lost a prospective groom for his daughter.
Why don't I put a bullet into my brain? Why haven't I cut my throat yet? What am I waiting for? Give me a knife, give me a pistol. He seems to be coming around because he feels movement in Lomo. Drink some water, that's right. Lomo, who gains a bit of consciousness by that moment. I see stars, mist, where am I? Chubukov, who at this moment realizes that he should not waste a single moment. He should not miss the slightest of the opportunity of getting his daughter married to that man. Hurry up and get married. A few minutes later, a few moments back, they had been having a miserable fight, abusing one another, abusive words they were using for one another. Hurry up and get married. Well, to the devil with you. She is willing. He puts Lomov's hand into his daughter's. She is willing and all that. I give you my blessing and so on. Only leave me in peace. Puts her hand in his hand. Gives them a blessing for a happy married life. And says that I wish to live in peace and die in peace now. Lomov, he is getting up. He is still not properly conscious. He is still gaining himself into that state of consciousness. What? To whom? Chubukov. She is willing well. Kiss and be damned to you. And you both are of one another now. Natalia. He is alive. Yes, yes. I am willing. I am ready to get married to him. Kiss each other. So quick they are in their decisions. Lomo who is still blank. Kiss whom? But then by the time the girl quickly does her part. Very nice to excuse me. What is it all about? Oh, now I understand. My heart stars. I'm happy. Natalia stepping over. Kisses her hand. My foot has gone to sleep. We had discussed that his body starts uh, losing consciousness once he has those palpitations. Natalia, I'm happy too. What a weight of my shoulders. Shubukov as a father says, I'm relieved now. My daughter is finally married to a wealthy man, a landowner. Natalia, but still, you will admit now that guess is worse than squeezer. With this line somewhere you may write, old habits die hard. She was a quarrelsome woman. She was an argumentative woman. She knew very well that how she can let the other man down. And after getting married even, see how they are beginning with their married life. Okay. Once again, another topic of discussion. You will admit that guess is worse than squeezer. Better, worse. Okay. So another fresh quarrel soon after getting married even. Well, that's a way to start your family bliss. Means after getting married, there should have been some happy moments within you. And you have once again started with that quarrel. Have some champagne and celebrate life. He is better, worse, worse. And Chubuko, who's trying to shout her down, Champagne, champagne, because he wants celebrations. And instead of those celebrations, the couple had started fighting once again. Okay, so with this, we complete with our play and uh, let's do our question answers or the assignments. Okay, have a look. I'm sharing the screen with you. Okay, let's start. What does Chubukov at first suspect that Lomov has come for? Is he sincere when he later says, and I've always loved you, my angel, as if you were, I, or you were my own son. When Lomov comes to Chubukov's house, Chubukov suspects that Lomov may be going somewhere because he had come there wearing formal dress. When Lomov explained to him that he had come there seeking his help, then Chubukov suspected that he had come to borrow money 
he held no high regard for lomov and was not at all sincere when he told lomov that he had always loved him and that he was like his own son because he had decided to not give any money to lomov it was only when lomov asked for his daughter's hand in marriage that his attitude changed and he rushed out to call his daughter natalia okay next chubukov says of natalia as if she won't consent she is in love egad she is like a love sick cat would you agree yes natalia is in love her father also calls her a love sick cat she may not love lomov sincerely and truly but she was dying to marry lomov this is clear by the way she behaved when she gets to know that lomov came to propose to her she started weeping and asked her father to bring lomov at once find all the words and expressions in the play that the characters used to speak about each other and the accusation and insults they hurl at each other means other than the accusations or the abusive words used whatever they say about one another has been discussed here all characters in the play indulge in accusations and insults all here refers to three of them lomov calls chubukov malicious old rat fool stuffed sausage land grabber double faced villain intriguer Chubukov calls Lomov lunatic, petty fogger, drunkard, gambler, scarecrow, backbiter, milksop, turnip ghost. Natalia calls Lomov monster, impudent, rascal. Lomov calls Natalia excellent housekeeper, not bad looking, well educated. Even her father refers to her as a lovesick cat. Chubukov calls Lomov's father a guzzling gambler. Okay. now here on with some extra questions why do both families claim their ownership of oxen meadows oxen meadows become a bone of contention between the two families lomov thinks that the oxen meadows that touch the birch forest of chubukov belong to him his aunt's grandmother gave those meadows for temporary and free use to the peasants of chubukov's grandfather in return they were to make bricks for them but natalia opposes the statement by saying that their land extends to burnt marsh and it means that those oxen meadows belong to them this way both claim their ownership over them what happens when lomov is thought to be almost dead how does chubukov react when lomov comes back to senses Lomov is a 35 year old man who doesn't enjoy a good health he suffers from palpitations and can't bear too much of tension and excitement he comes with the proposal of marrying natalia after much heated quarrel he fell down unconscious in an armchair natalia and chubukov get unnerved and worried natalia started crying thinking him to be dead chubukov thought that he had lost a golden opportunity he even thinks of shooting himself or cutting his throat but as soon as lomov comes to senses he grabs the opportunity and that very moment blesses lomov and natalia for a happy married life okay now a general question out of the chapter the detailed ones would be somehow based on such questions only arguments and disputes seldom solve a problem describe the dispute between natalia and lomov over the dogs and their superiority natalia and lomov fought over the superiority of their dogs squeezer and guess lomov was pained to hear that despite many qualities guess had two major defects the dog was old as well as short in the muzzle lomov was proud of his dog's pure breed its well sprung ribs it was also a good hunter on the other hand natalia's high pedigree squeezer was a bad hunter she pointed out that her dog squeezer was better than guess she remarked that guess was old ugly and a worn out cab horse she also called guess a lame dog then lomov stated that his dog had become lame since its leg had been bitten by some other dog though lomov had come there to propose natalia as he wanted to marry her they involved themselves in silly arguments that also over petty issues 
their main purpose was sidelined in the dispute the main issue of discussion or purpose of his visit gets clouded and lost sight of by indulging in unnecessary and avoidable quarrels but such silly arguments should never come in the way of matrimony rather it is the attribute of tolerance and acceptance that paves the way for a good relationship okay when such questions come you have to relate them to the text along with that you have to give your own opinion also so in this answer you have a look okay first few lines are about the discussion which they had about the dog and the last few lines are a general opinion so the lengthy answers that is those five marks answers have to be like this only you also would be concluding them expressing your own views over the topic okay so with this we finish with our chapter proposal and in the next lecture we shall be doing our next poem okay goodbye children take care